Installation video. Thanks for joining us. We wanted to quickly run you through the steps of installing the PDF converter for SharePoint. This overview will make your installation a simple process. Let's start by reviewing the prerequisites. Here is a list of what you need to run the PDF converter. With your existing SharePoint infrastructure in place, you'll be happy to know the PDF converter will work without the need for any further hardware. This list is available for reference in the administration guide. The PDF converter has been built on top of a flexible and scalable distributed architecture. This is one of the reasons why the PDF converter works so well in SharePoint environments, ranging from a single server farm all the way up to massive SharePoint farms involving dozens of systems. The PDF converter is specifically designed and maintained to provide linear scalability to support even the most demanding environments. But now let's move on to the actual installation. We are going to provide you with a brief overview of installation. When you actually carry out your installation, make sure you follow the step-by-step -step guide provided in Chapter 2 of the Administration Guide. The installation process can be divided into two parts, the installation of the central conversion service and the installation of the SharePoint front-end screens and workflow activities. To get the conversion service set up, you need an account that is allowed to run as a service and has local administrator rights. From here, just start the installer on the machine that will be used to process the conversions. We recommend using one of your application servers. We have kept it very simple. You only need to enter the service account's username and password when prompted. Occasionally, the installation will prompt a few more dialogues to resolve simple issues. If you are unsure on how to handle any of these, speak with your network administrator. Now let's move on to the Office installation. While your SharePoint web front end servers don't require a copy of MS Office, if you are planning on converting MS Office documents such as InfoPath or Excel, then you need to install MS Office on any servers that run previously installed Muhimbi conversion service. Muhimbi software makes sure that any interaction with MS Office happens in a robust, reliable, and scalable manner. After the Office installation is finished, it is recommended to set the default printer to Microsoft XPS Document Writer. Our next step is installing the SharePoint front end. The front end is deployed as a standard SharePoint WSP file. Make sure you have the appropriate privileges to deploy this kind of file. If you are unsure, check the administration guide. Deploy the WSP file by clicking install.cmd. This will deploy the solution to all SharePoint servers at once. Just to be sure, check the output and that the WSP file has been deployed properly. Now that everything has been installed, we will need to configure the conversion server. To do so, navigate to the Muhimbi PDF Converter screen in Central Administration. If you are running everything on the same server, then you are ready to go. No changes are needed. If you do have multiple machines in your farm, then you will need to make an adjustment. We just need to point the conversion server address to the server that has the conversion server installed. To do this, simply replace local host with the correct machine name. When you finish, click Validate Settings. This will verify that everything is working as expected. If you run into any problems or have any questions, your best bet will be to check through all steps in Chapter 2 of the PDF Converter Administration Guide, as well as the linked references to appendices. If that doesn't help you solve the issue, we will be more than happy to help. Contact us at support at muhimbi.com and we'll get you up and running. If you have any special consideration, such as integration with Nintex workflow or to enable our real-time watermarking facilities, you may need to enable some SharePoint features. Our last step is licensing. You can skip this if you are evaluating the software, but once the PDF converter has been purchased, you will need to install our separate license manager and add your license key. After this has been done, you need to locate the folder where the conversion service has been installed in. Copy the license file here and restart the conversion service. That's it, you are all set. But before we wrap up, let's try converting a file. Now let's test out a single conversion to assure we have everything in order. For this, we'll cut to a segment from our quick demo of the PDF converter video. As you may know, we have a number of other videos available on our YouTube page, including a features overview and our case studies. These are also in the knowledge base that can be found in our support section. From the standard document library UI, select the document you wish to convert. Upon installation, 
our PDF converter for SharePoint embeds an icon directly into the user interface such that you can convert documents very easily. On the Conversion Settings screen, you can select the preferred destination for the document before converting it. In this case, we've selected the same source library where the document in MS Word form was available. You can also specify if you wish to include the metadata from the source file. From there, simply convert. To have a look at your converted document, return to the library and open the newly converted PDF. Thanks for following along and choosing Muhimbi's PDF Converter for SharePoint. Remember, if you have any questions the administration guide can't answer, feel free to contact us at support at muhimbi.com.